Hello there, Erner here, and today we will talk about Ethiopia in multiplayer battles. From the start, let's pick Memnon. He is pretty strong and he is able to boost your units or decrease enemy units very well. I recommend using this hero, otherwise you can go with Fighter Ravager as usual. Then you always bring Sheridan Warriors. They are very strong, amazing, they heal up, immune to flanking, tons of damage. Then another almost broken unit, too strong, Nachtu A infantry, amazing stats and weapon and they can switch for more fierce damage. Then I recommend also bringing some fodder. Uh, Ethiopian tribesmen are cheap, good, one card deploy them, very fast, mobile, very good. Based on the map we can decide to bring pretty solid chariot I would say. And for the missiles I will bring one harpy uh, that is amazing strong unit and then we can bring two Elamite stone slings because that's incense long range. Alternatively, we can go with uh, javelins. They have same speed, slightly different uh, damage output. It's up to you to bring more of them and have more micro issues or just bring stronger. For the simplicity, I will bring long range slings, provoke enemy to fight me and I have all of these strong elite units that are stronger than they should be. Then let's give these guys a little bit more morale, attack defense. And now I will show you a very simple way of playing this faction. Most likely you will be playing it as usual as other ones. You have... Huh. This map interesting. So, enemy will be on the hill, so we can already do some ambushing right from the start and then bring our elite units as soon as possible to support them. We can decide to, to switch weapon for the axe. This way we are going to have much more speed, so we will we will come to our fro fodder front line much sooner. Then what else do we have? We can bring more. Let me just slightly in the way they are still hidden. So, very good, harpies are close, our units are going to be there very quickly, you can play, this, play it aggressively like this, and we can use slings with their amazing high range to already be able to support our units as well, bringing our hero. And that would be it. From the start, we go forward. We see whether or not enemy is here. If not, we can we can make him think, think like we are going to here. And meanwhile, we are flanking around. So that would be it for Ethiopia. You can always rely on your shard and warriors. Use Nachtua wisely, use Elamid Stone Slings from the safe distance, and your Chariots is pretty solid as well. So that would be it, good luck, have fun, and see you later.